welcome to our very special virtual SoFun Club for the month of February. We're so glad that you can join us today. And today we have something really special. We have um, a new vendor um, that we're gonna share with you today, Marcia Layton Designs. And I can't wait for you to meet her. But before we get into that, I wanna talk real quickly about liking, commenting, and sharing on Facebook and also our YouTube site. And that way you can be in the running for our drawings. And tonight we have four different patterns and they're from Purple Pineapple and you can be in the running to win those. We'll have two drawings at the end of the month. So before we get any further into anything, I wanna introduce you to Marcia. Marcia, welcome. Thank you. It's so nice to have you join us. Um, I was so excited that uh, you know, the, the, you know, stars aligned so that we could fit it because originally when I was talking to you, there was that bad hurricane coming through. So I'm glad that everything worked out and we're sitting here today and so many wonderful things that you're going to share with us tonight. And one of the things that I was really excited about was your yo-yo usage in some of your patterns. So I know that, um, you have some really great designs on tea towels as well as quilts. But before we get into showing all the wonderful things that you have, I want to learn a little bit about you. Can you tell us a little bit how you started quilting and how your company started? I can. Thank you. I was um, a lifetime sewer. My mother and my grandmother both seemed, you know, made clothes for us, my sister, as we grew up. Um, I didn't probably until high school, I took home ec and everybody learned how to make their basic, you know, a dress. And from then on, it was no stopping. And I sewed clothing, I started doing embroidery, a lot of handwork, a lot of uh, cross stitch and um, smocking, but it just truly became, you know, excited about sewing. Uh, I didn't really start quilt till the late nineties. I was a preschool teacher for many years. And one year we decided that we would make little quilts with all the children's hand prints. And so we ended up making probably over 50 quilts with children's hand prints. Wow. <laughs> and that's kind of how I started my quilting designing career because, uh, you know, all of us have friends who say, oh, you should do this, should, you know, you, you should write a book, you should do this and that. And the idea took over and I thought, well, you know, maybe I have something here. And I ended up submitting a proposal to Martingale and Company and published a little book with children's handprint quilts. And I one here to show you real quick, just shows you where I came from. So here's a little flamingo, but just oh, done with oh. children's handprint. <laughs> so um, that was a lot of fun and it really got me hooked on quilting. Now I realized I could, didn't have to save up a little bit of fabric. I could go and buy new fabric and all these <laughs> great quilts. So um, I, taught for 20 years and then I retired from the school, ended up working in a friend's quilt shop. And while I was in the shop, I, I had basic understanding of quilting, but nothing really very difficult. But I started making samples and things like that. So I enhanced my skills away. And about 2009, the little yo-yo makers came out. And if you're not familiar with yo-yos, they're an old quilting technique. And it's basically a little fabric circle that you take and you gather the edge and pull the thread and all just come to the middle and you've got this little yo-yo. Well, I mean, it's probably been around since the 20s, 30s, and people would make bed spreads out of these yo-yos. Um, the yo-yo makers, well, traditionally, you would just get a little piece of cardboard and make your circle and then do everything by hand. In 2009, they came out with uh, yo-yo makers, which is little discs. And so I tried them and I loved them <laughs> and they took <laughs> over my life. So where before I'd been designing around hand prints, now I was designing around circles. And what I love about yo-yos is they have a, such an appealing texture. So, you know, you can have a circle on your quilt, but if you've got this cute little gathered up piece, it adds texture and interest to all the designs. So because I had done the little books, I thought, well, Maybe I can write patterns. And so I started in 2009 writing patterns using the yo-yos on my quilt. And let me show you real quick how to do the yo-yos and uh, then I'll show you the first quilt that I did. So basically you've got the yo-yo maker. It's a little two-part disc. You've got a back and a front. 
and you line up the two pieces, put your fabric in between, and wrap it in place. Once it's in place, you'll take your scissors, and I've already done this one, but you'll trim and leave a little fabric edge all the way around. And then to stitch it, all you do is hold this little edge down, and it's got holes already pre prepared for you. And you just go in and out of the holes and stitch and then pull everything apart. This one I stitched for you. I'll give you the finish. You just take it, snap it apart. Ta-da, there you've got this yo-yo. Pull the little back piece out. Pull your thread. Tuck all the little raw edges inside. And there you have a fin yo-yo. And I'll take and run my thread through the middle to the other side, and I'll get this cute little fabric puff. So I had a pile of these, all different colors, and just playing around with them and not really knowing what to do with it. And I got to thinking that it's a lot like candy. So I thought, well, why don't I make a little gingerbread house and put all these yo-yos on a, a candy house? And so that's when I made my first yo-yo quilt. So this is called Lollipop Lane, and it's a little gingerbread house with basic house design, it's machine applique. I used rickrack to create like the details around the doors and windows. I used uh, two pieces of rickrack to create the stick for the lollipop. So this actually has a piece of white rickrack did with a piece of blue rickrack. So yeah, I can get the little stick for the, that one. <laughs> and uh, so basically I created it and then embellished with all the yo-yos. So, you know, it might have been a cute design, it's bright and color, but because it's got this interesting texture, it's very exciting to me. And if you'll notice the little snowflakes up here of rickrack that are sewn to the yo-yos, these are little tiny yo-yos, um, <laughs> gives them a little of a snowflake look. And of course, your little reindeer, their bodies are 3D, the trees are all three-dimensional as well. And even these yo-yos here are, oh, i try to get where I can point, they're, um, done like peppermint candies, these are actually pieced yo-yos. If you create a four patch and put it on the yo-yo maker, you can get a, a coupe yo-yo. So, oh, that's so creative. That. I didn't even think of that. Very cute. So, and I, when I was thinking about how, of course I thought ribbon candy is what, you know, we all see at Kristen. I wanted to create a border on the quilt that reflected that. So this is actually ribbon sewn into the edge of the quilt, like a knife edge finish. And, uh, very simple to do, but it makes really interesting finish for that. Oh, it definitely has a wow factor too. Just all the little additives really make that a fun, fun um, quilt that you have there. I love it. Thank you. And all right, and I dropped all my quilts, so let me grab it. Uh -oh. <laughs> there you go. All right. Well, because I started with that one, I couldn't stop, and I once again had fun. So I'm doing all the holidays. This one's called Spooky Hollow. And I decided early on when I was doing this, the house quilts, that I would actually make each border different on each quilt as well. So this one has like a Peace Prairie point. I don't know if you can see it as well. Well, where I'm holding it. Oh, it's very <laughs> cute. Yeah. Yeah. And um, the detail on the quilt is a done with ribbon and rickrack again. I did some little googly eyes on some of the creatures. And, uh, of course, the yo-yo jack-o'-lanterns. There's yo-yo spiders and yo-yo ghosts on that one. So creative, all the usages of those yo-yos. <laughs> well, there's more. <laughs> Everything I make now has a yo-yo on it. It's, uh, <laughs> it's definitely an obsession. This is called a harvest root. This is um, the fall scene, and I've used the yo-yos for this flower. They are actually layered. You can see that it's a brown yo-yo on top of a yellow yo-yo. So that gives it an extra dimension, but it also gives it that uh, the two colors that I needed. All the little crows have yo-yos on their bodies. Even the hat on the, the scarecrow is scarecrow, a full yo-yo. Yeah. So he has that. And I made some of the parts three-dimensional also. His little coat is actually a uh, stick sticks out from the quilt. and gives it that extra texture. There's the cat window. I usually cat on houses if I can. Uh, use lace for the, the decorative work on the house and a lot of ribbon around the windows for that. And this board is actually pretty traditional, but I did put rickrack in the edge to give it that extra little uh, interest. So, little fun additive, may, yeah. You may notice that the the yo's on the um, the tree here are a little bit different. The little heart shaped yo-yos 
Uh, Clover mm-hmm. at one point made heart shake yo-yo maker. They've discontinued that since they started. And that one I actually now just make as a circle, and then I whip a little bit of thread to the edge of the yo-yo to create the heart shape. Because to me, it looks like a leaf in that, that form. So that's Yeah, that what one. a sensational scene. I love that. <laughs> it's fun. When I start designing, I have, right now I've kind of figured out what size will, you know, maximize the use of the yo-yos. But I pretty much write down everything that makes me think that season or that event and go from there. This is my summer quilt. It's called Flamingo Cove. And this is the little big house. And it's got ribbon ruffles for this line. The little umbrella is three-dimensional, too. It folds like it's folded up on the, against the house. And then all the little creatures are done with yo-yos. Another thing I do on some of the quilts is add a um, fusible fleece to the background. I, might, I kind of want to receive, to receive um, come forward, so sometimes I'll put that um, fleece behind of the apple to get the yeah to get that to it yeah mm-hmm. I love that Very you notice cool. the sun here has rickrack attached to the edge as well so rickrack is a good trim bends it turns it does a lot of things for me so I use it often on the quilt I've got one word here of this series this one's called Patriot Corner oh, I lost my, <laughs> my microphone Just go ahead and restart when you're when you got it ready, so you can just stay, you know. And this one is Patriots Corner, and they'll edit it, so you'll be okay. fine. All right, this quilt, Patriots Corner. For this book, the inspiration act was the watermelon. I wanted to <laughs> create that with the yo-yos here, but the tablecloth is three-dimensional. The little wheels are actually done with two pieces of fabric that are fused together, and then uh, I stiffened them with a fray block material, um, product. That way they have a little stiffness to turn. There are screens on the windows. I use some netting for that to give it the extra summertime feel. And then of course the flag is so just one of those little flags you get on the stick and I sewed it into the quilt that it could oh, nice. free, yeah. free form. The edge of the quilt is, I think, might be six, I think 64 yards. <laughs> Um, I wanted the bunting, so I sewed the yo-yos into the edge. Again, it's like a nice finish on the quilt. I sewed the white yo-yos into the edge and then attached the blue and red to the top of those yo-yos. Oh, how clever. How clever. Well, very nice. Well, let me talk about the pricing for the first set that we have here. And um, all of them using the yo-yos. So the first one that we had um, was lollipop lane and that retails for twelve dollars but our very special so fun club price is only 9.59 and like all other months we have done the research we've negotiated a very special price for all of our moors customers um, we've done research to make sure that we are the lowest out there so you can be rest assured that your price is going to be lower than anywhere else now the next one that we had that came up was Spooky Hollow and that was that really cute Halloween house with all those fun yo-yo additives. And that is also a $12 retail pattern, but not for all of you in So Fun Club land. Our virtual price is only $9.59. And then we went ahead and went to Harvest Road and that quilt was also $12 and our special So Fun Club price is only $9.59. We went to Flamingo Cove for the summertime, and that is also a $12 retail, but only $9.59 for all of our So Fun Club customers. And the last one that we've seen from Marcia today is Patriot's Corner, and that's um, one for the 4th of July, or that one could be kept up all year round. And that was also a $12 retail pattern that we have a very special price tonight of only $9.59. Now let's get back to Marcia and see what else she has to share with us today. Right. This quilt is Cotton Tail Trill. It's my spring quilt. It features a little hat with everything that I could think of for spring. So you have a kite in the air, you have an Easter basket, you have a windsock, you have a little bunny in the and all the flowers. 
There's a little bit of hand embroidery on here. I have some little butterflies and added details. Just anything that made me think of a happy spring day. I'm curious about this one. When I started designing, I thought, well, you know, a lot of people don't want to do a whole like this. It has and it has a lot of yo-yos on it. But I mm -hmm. thought, you know, there's there's parts from every quilt that you could use in a smaller project. So noticeable bunny here between the way roses. And yes. then look at the set of tea towels. So this is oh, holiday yeah. fun. So I took the same little bunny that was on the quilt and decided to make a little Easter um, bunny towel. And the, these have turned to be really, really popular pens because they're a small project. They're nice to give someone just a little bit of yourself. And the videos add just such an interesting texture to the, the designs. So this pattern includes all six designs. It's called Holiday Fun. And it has the jack o lanterns the snowman, a little turkey, your spring flowers, and your Christmas tree. So, fun one to Very do. Very nice. You the are towels? taking me back. <laughs> when I um, was learning to sew from my grandmother all those years ago, I was probably about five. One of the things that she had me do was to make yo-yos. And um, I made a little, it was probably like a table topper. It was supposed to be a quilt, but at that age I lost interest. But your use of these yo-yos is just so impressive and creative and all the different designs you have with them. I absolutely um, can see <laughs> myself making a bunch of yo-yos again. <laughs> Well, they're fun, and with those yo-yo makers, it really is easy and, and consistent. You'll always have pretty yo-yos. Right. So after having just, fun, go ahead. Let me, let me add this in. And just so that you know, everyone, um, we are bringing in the yo-yo makers here um, with our Sew Fun Club. So you'll be able to purchase the yo-yo makers to make these wonderful yo-yo quilts that Marcia has. So after I got going on those yo-yo towels, I could stop on those either. So I probably have about, I don't know, a dozen to uh, towel patterns. And this is called Country Critters. So once again, you have all your little animals, but they're all embellished with yo-yos. And the bodies are just so cute. <laughs> so uh -huh. um, I think the little lambs, they have quite a few yo-yos. There's probably about a dozen in each little lamb. But again, they're not difficult to make, and they just add a lot of fun to your project. So that's Country Critters. Um, these have their basic towels, but I always add Rick Rack. On um, these, I decided to add ruffles just to give them a little bit more of a country flair. And I do that often. Sometimes I'll add fabric strips to the towels to coordinate design. But you can really, you know, make them personal with uh, your choices of fabrics and, dis and enhancements. Okay. Um, two more of my collections are the tropical ones. I live in Florida, so uh, we do a lot of tropical designs. This is called Tropical Twist. So six, again, six designs in this pattern. So I've got your flamingo, the turtle arms, the seahorses, the shells, and the crab. Again, and a little bit of ribbon is used in some of them. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, the seahorses all have little ribbon uh, ends on the back. And of course, the rickrack is used on the designs for the towel as well. There's another tropical set called Tropical Twist too. And this has your, <laughs> your pelican, your hibiscus, your gator, your dolphin, and a parrot. And if you'll notice the little beach balls, they're, once again, they're pieced yo-yos. I did uh, four patches using two white squares and then like, two colorful squares to get the beach balls on those. So a lot of fun to do. And half the fun is just finding the towels and the trims and the colorful fabrics go with them. Another set of towels are the Forest Friends. And this is your little fox, a deer, there's an owl, and then there's a little bear, a little squirrel, and of course a little frog. And some of uh -huh. these actually did use the heart-shaped yo-yos because I thought they looked like lily pads. But it, once again, you can make a circle and then just loop over that edge of the yo-yo to make that little heart shape or lily pad shaped yo-yo. And I sew these on by hand. All the machine applique, all the applique is done by machine. The yo-yos are attached by hand. And you'll just do like a little blind stitch to secure them to the towels. And they wash up as long as you sew the edges of your yo-yos down. 
they'll wash fine. They'll wrinkle a little bit, but they'll still look really cute. Let's talk about the pricing that we have. And the first one that we had was that Cottontail Trails, that really cute um, tea towels with all those wonderful accents and all those yo-yos used for the animals. That is normally a $12 pattern, but our very special So Fun Club price is only $9.59. And then we went to Holiday Fun and also Country Critters. Both of those have a retail value of $9, but our special So Fun Club price for you today is only $7.19. And then we had, let's see, we had Tropical Twist and Tropical Twist 2. And those ones retail for $9, and the So Fun Club price is only $7.19. And then we also had, um, oh no, I think that's it. We got them all. So let's go back to Marcia and find out what she has next. I can't wait to see. Uh, this one is called Country Crossing. This is the little barn. Remember when I told you that I was going to do different orders on every quilt? Well, this is the only one that I pieced. <laughs> I'm not much of a piecer, so I could do uh, checkerboard. And so, but it went with the theme, so I was really happy with that. The one thing that made me want to make this quilt was that tractor wheel, that yellow and black John Deere tractor. <laughs> but I Absolutely. have the same little sheep, same little sheep that are on my tea towels. There's a little cat up in the hayloft. Um, this act, the little end mill, is actually the same technique that I did on the pills that were on the patriotic quilt. It's fabric that is fused together and then stiff. I get that little mention. When, when, Very nice. Uh, all right. Then we have Raccoon Ridge. This is really one of my personal favorites. It was fun just thinking of all the little creatures that are in the forest. So we have these two nasty, naughty little raccoons getting into the boat and trying to get the pie. There's a fox, a deer, the little ducks and bears. And um, it was just fun. This is great. It was a great fabric find as well. Um, there's a lot of great wood type fabrics available now so I could use that for the design and I mix cottons and batiks in a lot of the quilts I find the batiks are great for applique because they don't rattle and they have so much dimension but I like the cottons as well for the unique character that they give the quilts um, one more of the houses or house size quilts this is Pirate's Cove Pirate's Gold and this is um, we've got the treasure map in the border you can see I did some hand quilting along the edge with the black floss to get the look of the, the uh, pirate. And then I used a lot of crystals on this quilt. Um, you can really get in trouble with those, but it, I needed the treasure to sparkle and add to the 3D effect of that quilt. Oh, you can absolutely see it on the boat's ridge, and they definitely sparkle very nice. Thank you. And so... Um, these are supposed to be like palmettos in the background. So this is all dimensional. Uh, the, the parrot and the trees, they're all 3D as well. So. And because I am in Florida, we do a lot of sea theme activities. And so this is a little pillow. I, I, I could do some pillows. And these are, again, the little creatures. That's your turtle and your fish, your starfish and the crab. And then, again, the little prey points on the pillow. And these are all in one pattern as well. This is all uh, seashore pillows. We've got a lobster. And then this is yo yo on yo yo on yo yo. And you see, to get the <laughs> dimension of the scallop shell and then some rickrack along top to get that little design. Oh, wow. And then we have the last one in the collection is a little whale. He's got mm -hmm. his little tail made out and of those yo -yo. ones are all in seashore um, pillows? <laughs> yes. Yes. All together. Very nice. So you get a lot in that collection. Uh huh. Yeah. Actually, it was it was one of my teaching pillows for for a while because it's got all the designs that are the towels, some of those, and also. But it was a good way to learn yo-yos and do some simple applique as well. When I was at Market Wear, I took the smaller quilts and I decorated my booth with big yo-yo fish and other creatures. And when I went home, a lot of people were very interested in big yo-yo designs. So when I went home, I came up with a frolic, which is the quilt in the background. And it's a size quilt, 
but it uses what they call the jumbo yo-yo. It's about a four-inch yo-yo, and it was perfect to make all the creatures on that quilt. And that's one that you can just have. You can have a fun with bright colors. and um, Makes a great gift for a young child. Next to that one is Pretty Mermaid. I'm not usually one to do people. I just don't like to draw on those. But this was one that I, I had fun with. Um, actually, it was her bra that inspired the quilt because she needed big yo-yos there. But all the turtles, <laughs> all the little fish have uh, yo-yos on their bodies. And the, the sea anemones are layers of ribbons to give them at least some more texture. Very nice. Well, let me take a break real quick and let's talk about okay. some of the pricing again. So I've got quite a few to go over. The first one that we had was another one of those amazing little wall hanging house quilts and we had Country Crossing. That normally is a $12 pattern, but our very special Moore's Virtual Cell Fun Club price is only $9.59. And then we went down and we went to Raccoon Ridge and that is also a $12 pattern, but our special price is only $9.59. And then we had Pirate's Gold, um, very cute with the pirates and all that bazing and um, the dazzling with those um, rhinestones that we added. And that was also a $12 retail pattern that we have a very special price of $9.59. And then we had Ocean Frolic and we also had Pretty Mermaid. Both of those were the quilts featured in back and they are $12 patterns that we have for only $9.59. And Let's make our way back to Marcia to see what we have next. Well, I have three more to show you. Um, but first, I wanted to show you my yo-yo collection. <laughs> I started, <laughs> <laughs> this is just one jar. I've got all of them. They're all colorized. It's a great activity for grandchildren if you have them. <laughs> because, uh, you know, I, you just end up with so many. You use all your scraps and then just keep them on hand. And when I'm done, I can get a jar and... Well, well and another great thing is you, they can go with you. You can't take your sewing machine oh, yeah. generally to the doctor's office, but you can definitely take fabric scraps and your yo-yo makers and make a bunch of yo-yos that you can put on the mermaid or the ocean frolic and basket of you. So, yeah, it's it's an interactive thing for kids Very and cool. adults a lot. I've got a bag here for a, a remake of mermaid, and basically I just collected, you know, got all the sizes down what I needed, take it with me, and made all those. So now when I get ready to make that quilt, I've got all the parts ready to go. So even if you don't use your yo-yos, they're a great decorative state. <laughs> so, um, yeah. <laughs> and, they, they, you know, you feel like you don't have to throw away that little fabric. It can become a yo-yo and become something pretty. So I have three more quilts to show you. This one is, um, I started doing a series of quilts, Simply series. And these are um, a little bit smaller. They're about a 12 by 22, I think. And they fit nicely on some of the little metal ha hangers that you can find in the stores. Uh, but basically, just simple creatures and simple designs. And they'll work out really nicely. Whoops. <laughs> <So. laughs> <laughs> <Well, laughs> I'll let you get it back in. <laughs> All right. It's a comedy. All right. So just when you're ready, just start fresh with that one, and we're All good. All right. Let's start with this one or this one? <laughs> no, go ahead with the turtle. Okay. The next quilt I'm showing is Simply Sea Turtle. And this one actually, as opposed to one giant yo-yo, has like probably about a dozen uh, mixed sizes of yo-yos. And again, it gives him a lot of texture to his shell. The anemones all have yo-yos in the middle. The little fish has a big tail, but he also has a big yo-yo on his body. But these are fun to make, and they're very and easy to do. The last quilt I've got is one of my newest ones. Uh, last year I had taken some yo-yos and, and uh, stacked them up and just made a very, very simple flower. So each flower has three yo-yos, a small, a large, and an extra large. And so I had them stacked up, didn't know what to do, and then I thought, you know, I have all these beautiful fabrics from K-Facet, and what better way to use them than put them in a flower garden? So I made, actually, a flower bed. So if you'll notice, the top of the quilt is your headboard, I hope you can see, and the bottom is your footboard, and in between oh, is your, nice. flower, your little flower quilt. So, very simple quilt to do, but it's great if you have 
of you know a collection of certain fabrics. It would be great made with 1930s fabrics or some bright pinks or whatever you choose. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let me talk about those prices. We have three more to go over real quickly. The first one we had was Simply Seahorses, and I absolutely adore these smaller little quilts. Um, perfect if you're teaching your granddaughter or your grandson um, how to make the yo-yos and then have them make something to go along with it. Um, applique is always an easy thing to teach kids, and you don't have to worry so much about um, the sewing down. You can stitch around it later, and I love um, all of these designs because you making those yo-yos you can make so many different things with so that one is a nine dollar retail pattern but our special price is only seven nineteen and then we had simply sea turtle once again a little bit smaller size but so much you can do with them nine dollar retail and our very special self on cloud price is only nine fifty nine whoops and you know what that's a typo on my end that price is only going to be 719 so and then our very last one was flower bed probably the biggest quilt there a uh, lots of yo-yos um and with her wonderful k facet fabrics which i'm a huge fan of too but that is flower bed and that's a 12 dollar retail pattern for 959 so i know i've totally inspired you um and marcia and now we're going to have a bunch of yo-yos going on um, with all of our customers here at Moore. Let me bring um, Marcia back. Any other final tips or tricks that you can share with us? I know that um, our customers are going to love to make these yo-yos and especially having your patterns to go along with them to give them creativity for months to come. Well, I hope they'll try them and hope they'll have fun with them because they really are a dick. <laughs> and um, easy to make. Uh, They'll make a you know, nice scale because the towel is uh, certainly a thing to do and a great way to start if you don't want to jump in too far. But um, share my well, passion. Well, you have inspired <laughs> me, yes. And like I said, you know, all those yo-yos I made years ago, um, going to get the, the needle and the thread out again, um, use some of my fun fabrics and make some more yo-yos either on the tea towels. I'm really fond of your sea animals. Um, Okay. I absolutely um, am drawn to them. So I really appreciate you taking time out and sharing with our Moores customers here in Southern California and also virtually across the country. Um, I hope you have a wonderful um, rest of your day and we look forward to seeing more designs from you in the future. Thank you. So here is my show and tell that I have this month for you for February. And I made this wonderful quilt. Um, the designer is Krista Mosier, and this is called Finley and Friends. And it's all pieced. We have some prairie points that have different elements where they're kind of three-dimensional. And then all of the fish are completely pieced. And if you come real closer and you can see some of the designs of the piecing and when I did my quilting, and I did a flow of free motion and it's really special. So we'll get a close up of that in just a second. So if you notice here on my free motion work, I have a bunch of um, bubbles that go sideways. And I also have like a clamshell feel on some of the flow of that free motion. It was a lot of fun to do. And the pattern was just fun to work with too, working with these triangles. So once again, Finley and friends, now, I can't wait to see what you're going to show us on Show and Tell. So let's see what we have out there with all of our Creative Moors customers. So I want to thank you once again for joining us for our February's Virtual Sew Fun Club. And we look forward to seeing you on our next Virtual Sew Fun Club. Until then, happy stitching, everyone, and we'll see you real soon.